Ten Point's latest flagship crossbow, the TRX 515, is one of those engineering marvels that Ten Point came out with this year. This bow shoots an amazing 515 feet a second. When it's cocked, this bow is only about six inches wide, axle to axle. Crossbow is only 29 inches long, nose to tail. So it's very, very compact, very easy to use in the ground blind or in the tree stand, and crazy fast. Also built into this bow is the twin riser technology. And this is integral in the whole front end design. What we've been able to do is take the middle out of the riser and that one reduces the mass weight of the riser, takes about a pound of weight off of the crossbow, but also we've spread that riser out to make your limb pivots and your limb pockets much more stable as well. So it makes this bow very quiet and very stable and very accurate to shoot. Included in this bow is the TriggerTech Precision Trigger Box. That's mounted in the zero track barrel. And on this particular bow, the arrow doesn't sit in the barrel, but rather rests on the two roller bearings up front, trapped inside with the brush, and anchors with the HPX knock back onto the bowstring. So to load the TRX 515, you want to grab out toward the end of the arrow. Odd fletch down. We're going to slide that arrow back into the trigger box and you'll feel it click and lock into place. But you want to make sure that that arrow is sitting evenly on those two bearings with the retention brush pushing straight down. This will make sure that you're shooting very, very accurately. The TRX comes with the Evo X Marksman Scope, which sits on top of the AccuLock Scope Bridge. It is stronger than the previous scope rails because it's mounted both on the front and on the back. So this whole entire scope rail is significantly longer, but also much more rigid. The 515 comes with the AR style ambidextrous safety. It's very intuitive as to where that safety is so that you're not having to pull your head away and look for the safety or move your hand around. It's gonna be right there by your thumb when you're ready to take the safety off and pull the trigger. Built into the buttstock is the new AccuSlide Max cocking system. Typically your trigger box is gonna be in the back position like we just shot it. So you're gonna want on the right hand side, there's a forward assist knob. And then on the end of the buttstock, the top, there is your lock latch release. So. With your right hand, grab that forward assist knob with your left finger. And I typically like to hold the stock just like this. It's very natural to, to grab that right there and just slide that trigger box forward through the riser. And then as you get down to the bowstring, you wanna give some good firm downward pressure to that trigger box. You'll hear that trigger box click and snap onto the bowstring. Now we're ready to start the cranking process. Put the crank handle in. As the trigger box gets back towards the end of the barrel, you want to listen for a click and you want to watch the latch lever jump down and back up. There's our click and our latch lever went down and back up. Now you're gonna give one backwards rotation with the crank handle. With your left thumb, you're gonna push down on the gear stop button. And with your right hand, just backspin that collar. Typically it's gonna go about a half a turn and it'll stop. And now the bow's cocked and you're ready to shoot. Now I wanna to talk to you about the back winding process at the end when once we got the bow cocked back. So the first step, was to do one full backwards rotation with the crank handle. What we're doing there is taking the pressure off of the strap and putting all the pressure onto the latch. That's gonna give you a consistent anchor point every time and help you with the accuracy of the crossbow. Then we talked about holding down the gear stop button and rotating the collar backwards with our hand. And what we're doing there is we're opening up the brake system. That collar is only gonna move about a half a rotation, but as you do that, you'll see the collar get a little bit wider. What we're doing there is we're opening the brake system up. 
That way, after we've shot the crossbow, we can grab the forward assist knob, hit the latch lever, and take that trigger box cleanly down to the bowstring without having to do any back winds. So we've been out hunting all day, didn't see anything, didn't shoot the crossbow. Now we're back at camp and we're gonna go ahead and decock the crossbow. First thing that you want to do is put the crank handle in. And then I usually hold the, the butt plate with my palm and my first finger drops right onto that latch just to apply a little bit of pressure on that latch. It's not gonna move at first. Then you crank forward like you're cocking the crossbow and you'll get a little bit of pressure on the crank handle and then you'll see and feel that latch move. And now you can see the lever moving down here as well. So hold that latch lever down and start your backwards rotations. After you get about one turn, you don't need to hold that latch lever down any longer. Just back it down. You're gonna let the trigger box down until the bowstring is straight across the front. And you'll see a little bit of slack in the strap. Now you can see there's a little bit of play in that strap. Take the crank handle out. Trigger box is fine to stay in the downward position until you're ready to shoot the bow again. Then you can just crank it back and shoot. If you have any other questions on the TRX 515, go to 10pointcrossbows.com.